Well, it's too hot now, isn't it? <laughs> I can't stand it. Uh, right, I've come to this job today. I wasn't supposed to, supposed to come tomorrow because the bricks only come today. There's a little garage and I was hoping it was going to be straightforward. There's nothing straightforward about it at all. Um, it's on the piss, so the squints here, squints that end. And we ain't got any, and we're not going to get any. So that's going to look lovely, isn't it? Uh, the gauges Imperial bumped up a lot, but they, they're insisting that they want um, me to keep courses. Lovely. Uh, why these builders don't buy um, Imperial bricks, I do not know. Uh, and the concrete is level, but it's half courses, which sort of will help me out a little bit because I can run up metric up to that DPC there. Uh, I haven't seen the drawing yet, it's just four and a half with piers, I think. Uh, they're going to concrete the floor when it's built, so I've got my brick barrier. Um, these which have all arrived, um, so I'll just wheel them in off the driveway, just uh, so we've got to get a bit of room, get it half loaded out. Uh, yeah, nightmare. Getting a bit dark. Um, forecasting thunderstorms. Right, I've got them in. Uh, I think it took me about 45 minutes. Uh, problem is, a couple of bands, three of the bands were, were, were broke. Uh, not no due diligence from the de delivery driver. And the thing with these um, LBCs, it's only got this plastic band, and if they get if they get bashed about a bit, they get a bit loose. Uh, the barra don't always work right, but I've got most of them in. Um, steel bands um, are better. Uh, when I worked in Oz, you know, the bricks came like that, we had the brick barra, and it was, everything was built um, <coughs> on a power floated slab. So on the uh, internals for the block work, we used to use these, wheel these about, uh, and use them as uh, bandstands, trestles. Get scaffold balls on them. It worked, safe behind trestles. Uh, right, the brick barrow. I've had that just over 40 years. Um, it's Australian and I shipped it over from Australia because I thought it was a good idea to have in the UK and it has been. I haven't used it much often, but uh, lately rather, but um, I used to use it a hell of a lot. Now, I always thought that I was probably the only person in the country to have one of these and that'd be the only trolley in the country and I was going through the internet just trying to find out because the tyres had gone down they're 40 year old them tyres um, what the uh, tyre pressures were and I found some for sale in the UK there's a fella up in Scotland uh, if you go on eBay a brick trolley cart they're 380 quid um, Obviously there's other types of carts, but a lot dear, you know, what the block pavers use. They use them for the block paving in Australia. Uh, he ships them out from, from Oz, so they're 380 quid. I think he's only got three left. And I messaged him briefly, uh, and he told me that he's actually selling the company. The company's up for sale. Uh, so if anyone wants to buy it, have a look. Um, yeah, I'm going home now. I've had enough. It's going to rain, I'm sure it is. Yeah. Fuck you know, look at this. <laughs> I'm about to pull over. Mental.
Right, this garage, uh, I was told, before I got there obviously, that it was just off a slab, uh, not a strip foundation, and um, it was square. Well, it's neither of them, is it? Um, so what I was going to do is just show like the, youngs, the young lads how to set a square out with tape and that on the slab. Uh, but we won't be doing that because it's not square. Uh, and we won't be using profiles on this job, I don't think. Because, uh, because of the squints and that. Um, you can set up profiles, there is ways of doing it, but I'll, I'll just probably won't bother, I'll just build the corners. I'm in no rush on this one. But, um, I brought along a couple of things, just uh, other ways of setting the square out, so I might as well show you. Um, this gadget here um, is a laser square. It throws out a beam there and a beam there at 90 degrees, and you just put that on your, on your fixed point, um, on your nail or whatever. Uh, I've, I've had that years, I don't know how long I've had it, a long time I've had that. Um, I bought it for tiling really, because uh, the beam really only works inside. <coughs> if it's out in the sunlight, it ain't gonna work too well. Um, yeah, for tiling floors, but if you're working inside, setting out block work and things like that, this, this uh, yeah, it's a good little gadget. Um, this. Anyone know what that is? Or have any seen one? That is an old Watts, um, I don't know, was it a Watts one? Yeah, Watts. The same people who made the Cali levels. Um, site square, used in the 50s and 60s. Um, they were still used in the 70s. Uh, I always wanted one, you know, sort of 45 years ago, but I've got a friend who um, sells survey equipment then, and he still does now, and he taught me into buying a dumpy level instead, um, which, you know, you drop a plumb bob down, you can set a square off it. So yeah, it's two for the price of one, really. Uh, it takes a bit longer to set the square out than this, uh, but it does the job anyway. Well, it did do the job, it's been nicked. So I've got nothing now. They were quite expensive, these, as I remember. Um, but I bought this on eBay, well, I don't know, six months ago, for about 25 quid. I just saw it on there and I thought I want it. Um, and basically what you do, you look through there, put your pin in, you know, if you, I can't really show you. Can I? I don't know. Nah, but um, you'll see if you look through it, there's a, a mark. And then this one here gives you 90 degrees that way. And you know, you just move it up and down, and put your pin in. Um, very good, very accurate. The only problem is they come um, with their own tripod. It's a special tripod um, and there's a rod hangs down in the middle, plumb, uh, on, onto your point, your fixed point. And they're just not about. And there's plenty of these levels for sale, but the uh, the tripods have all, I don't know, just disappeared, um, which is a shame. You, I can still set it up and use it without the tripod. There is a way. Um, but it'd be nice if I could find a tripod for it, but I don't know. I can't see it to find one. Right, well, we'll be over there tomorrow setting that out. Um, I just want to give heads up to my mate Mitchell. Um, thank you, thank you very much. He knows that anyway. Um, he's lent me this van um, while he's not using it um, till my one's back on the road. They have offered me a hired vehicle, but there's problems with that which I can't really tell you about at the moment. When it all gets sorted, I'll tell you why. Because um, if I hire it, it's going to cause me problems. I know it is. So, see you in the morning. Here's some of the stone walls they build here. Um, depending what island you're on, sometimes it, they, they, they do it in a black stone, it's, uh, it's volcanic stone, but very time consuming, they do a good job, all these little gallets in it, to pack it all out, it's nice I think, there's a few houses built in it as well, a lot more expensive than the concrete block. 